welcome back to my channel so i'm back yet with another book haul and this time it's going to be a big one big one i got physical copies i've got library books and i've got kindle books so i've got big one that's what she said um i might just start with my library books because yeah just because so the first book that i got is Load to Love You by Ali Hazelwood and I love, love, love her writing style. I love the concept that her books are about. Um, so I'm excited to read this. So it's basically three novellas in one, kind of one book based on three friends and obviously their relationships. The second book that I got is I was excited when I saw this. Like I actually screamed, of course, internally because it was in the library, but I, I saw the Crescent City. I know. But it's it's a big one, like look at the size of it. It's like 800 pages or long or something like that. But it's absolutely beautiful. And honestly, I trust Sarah J Maas absolutely. Like it doesn't matter what book it is, I will get it. Whatever she writes, I will read. Like she's so good. I read um, Akatar. I didn't finish the whole series, but I read the first three books and they were so good. Like. I feel like that will be my favorite book series that I'll ever probably read. And Akatar is the one that got me into uh, reading fantasy again. Because uh, I haven't read fantasy in like years. And um, probably the last fantasy book that I read was Twilight series. And that was like back when I was in school. Like that was like years ago. Um, but the third book that I got is Hellbent by Lee Verdugo. Now I read The Ninth House, which was the first book. This is the second book. And the first book, I gave it 3.5 stars, like, I just found the world building kind of hard to grasp. But I'm hoping this one will be very good. Um, it has romance as a subplot, it's not the main, main thing about the book. But I saw a hint of it, like a glimpse of it, and I was just like, I need more, I need more. <laughs> So I'm actually excited for the second one and the cover looks beautiful. I think it's like a rabbit or something. The first one had the snake on it. Then the three books that I got, well, technically two of them I actually got from my auntie and I love her to pieces. Like she's so, like so, 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 such a beautiful hu human being. And she got me these two books, Meet Me in Manhattan and the italian girl and can i say the cover looks absolutely stunning and the spine on this looks absolutely beautiful as well and both of these i haven't heard anything by any of these authors so these will be brand new but i'm always on the hunt to find another great author um this one i think it's supposed to be so holly which is the main character is determined to get her new york happy ending so I'm excited, like it's not too big, I'm excited to read that and both of these covers look absolutely stunning. And then this one is actually a tale of love, betrayal and self-discovery and I'm excited to read this one as well. So I'm just so 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 grateful for getting me two books. Um, and then the book that I got myself was the part of the Grisha verse and it's Siege and Storm. So it's the second book in the sequel of uh, Shadow and Bone. And I love Shadow and Bone series. I thought it's such a beautiful, unique story. And there's not much of romance in it, like it's a subplot. And there's no spoilers at all, so don't go looking into that. But it's a fantasy book and and there's the one thing that I will say though, Lee Verdugo, which this is another book by her, the way that she writes her worlds or the way that she builds the worlds in her books. They're kind of hard to grasp around, so I don't completely understand them myself. But I love the concept of the books. Like I, I love the stories that it says. Um, and I'm excited to read this one. I'm hoping it'll be just as good, if not better, than the first book. Um, and my Kindle books. I got a whole bunch of Christina Lauren books. I've been seeing them everywhere on TikTok. And they were actually doing a couple book deals there recently. Um, one of the days they had like six books for like a pound, which was so good. So if you're not following any authors, do follow them on Instagram. Like, because 
you know you can keep an eye out for any deals that they're having but i got these books probably out of all these books i think the only thing i've heard about was love and other words which apparently is like a very very good book and it's very similar i think it was called every summer after apparently that was copycat version of love and other words by christina lauren so i'm excited to see for the comparison but i actually liked every summer after despite the miscommunication trope in it and the one thing at the end which really really i couldn't believe that was written into the book but i did enjoy the writing style for every summer after so and then i'm still in my thriller era and i got a whole lot of these jewel books so they were obviously doing like this massive book deal not on every single lisa jewel book but there were so many that i got for under a pound i believe which was a bargain honest to god um i've only read one lisa jewel book but i'm sure they'll be good then i kind of want to start reading more of branch romances kind of like country romances and apparently Elsie Silver does the job the best um, so I got Flawless so there's the one bed trope which I mean that we all love um, and then it's the professional bull riding I mean I'm excited to see what all the hype is about because all I see is her books all over TikTok so I mean I need to find out for myself I got another Lee Bardugo book, Six of Crows. Was it Six of Crows? Um, apparently, it's so so good, and it's Six Dangerous Outcasts, One Heist. So it sounded so intriguing for me. Of course, I got it. Emily Henry, Happy Place. I've been hearing all about Emily Henry, like she's a very very popular author. Um, Happy Place came out I think in April, and all I've been hearing is about this couple who are going on a vacation with their friends and they broke up right before the vacation but they didn't want to let their friends know and change everything for the vacation so they basically it's like a second chance romance so they're keeping up so they're still playing this like happy couple and yeah i just wanted to see what the hype is about in all fairness raven kennedy what is it called the guild series i got what was it four books but I'm excited to read it. It's supposed to be dark fantasy and I'm still on the hunt to find something better than Akatar series and I still haven't found anything. Maybe this could be it. I'm making Quinn Vacation Wars. I'm not the huge mood reader but I love reading summer reads for summer and I feel like this would be a perfect summer read and it has family antics. That's like I'm pretty much sold. <laughs> you made the fool of me. It's basically choosing love against all odds and I believe the FMC wants to learn how to be alive again so it seems like such a high-ranching book and it's just like perfect for me. <laughs> uh, because there's only been a handful of books that really made me feel something and made me cry and there's not a whole lot of books but I know for sure that those books are my favorite books of all time because they actually made me feel something. Um, the way I used to be, I just know that it's supposed to be a heart-wrenching book. Penelope Douglas. Now, I read a couple of her books and I do like them. They're dark romance books and this one is supposed to be like bully romance. So it's supposed to be another dark one. But I I know for sure there, there is going to be Spice. If you don't like Spice, probably don't read it. Um, but I'm interested to see how much of a bully romance is going to be sometimes i'm just in the mood for something like that not every single time but i just know for sure penelope knows her thing she knows she knows how to write them before i let go right i looked up the rating for this book and if i remember correctly it was high high in closer to five star read and i've been seeing this book as well all over tiktok and I just like I gave in I was just like you know what I need to find out what this book is about but apparently it's a second chance romance um, FMC and MMC have kids or something like that and they're trying to find the path between how to get back together or something like that I mean it's inter interesting to see maybe it would work out for them the second time around but not always
Tessa Bailey, my killer vacation seems like another good summer read and I'm sold. Haven't read anything by Tessa Bailey yet. I'm excited to see if I like her books. Um, then it's another fantasy read and it's Kingdom of the Wicked. Um, and I got the first and the second book. I'm not sure what the second one is about, but it's basically about quest of vengeance because they're it's basically about two sisters and quest for vengeance. One of them is murdered and the second one is trying to solve it or something like that. It's a fantasy read and I am really in the mood for fantasy, even though it's summertime. <laughs> and it's got mixed reviews. There's half that love the book and then the other half don't love the book. And the next one I'm super excited by Stephanie Garber. I haven't read anything of hers yet, but it's Once Upon a Broken Heart and How Far Are You Willing to Go for a Happily Ever After? And it sounds so intriguing. Um, the Summer Place, I don't know anything about it, but I know it's a summer read and it has to go on my Kindle. I mean, now is the perfect time to read or get around to reading all these summer reads. But that's it for my book haul. Hopefully it wasn't too long and I I literally have zero control to buying books. I don't know how to say no to myself. Literally so bad, like I cannot walk past a bookshop. But definitely actually keep an eye out on Kindle app because like every day they have good Kindle deals on even like popular book talk books and you'd be shocked in all fairness. But that's how I managed to get so many Kindle books. Um, it's a collective haul. It's not like I went and bought all of these books in one day. And technically it's not too bad when it's only like one pound or even lower. But thank you for watching and supporting my book buying hobby because like I think we're all in this together. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.